Trump's arrival, just one surprise on a busy day at the convention as he also named U.S. Senator J.D. Vance as his running mate, and Vance is set to speak at the convention tomorrow night. But our senior reporter, Brett Forrest, is joining us in studio with a closer look on the Ohio senator, his views on the biggest issues going into the election, and his journey from being, quote, never Trumper to the former president's running mate now in 2024, Brett. Every good morning. J.D. Vance was on the short list of possible vice president picks that we've been reporting on with the announcement becoming official during day one of that convention through a post on Donald Trump's Truth Social app. Now, J.D. Vance is a 39 year old freshman senator from Ohio, first elected to public office just two years ago. Raised in poverty, Vance enlisted in the Marine Corps and was deployed to Iraq. He later graduated from Yale Law School and wrote the best-selling memoir, Hillbilly Elegy, before turning to politics, first as a Republican Trump critic, who then changed his tune, becoming an ardent Trump supporter. Here's some statements he's made over the years. JD. I'm a never Trump guy. I never liked him. I was wrong about Donald Trump. I didn't think he was going to be a good president, Brett. He was a great president. That's the whole reason why me and so many others are trying to reelect Donald Trump is because the agenda actually worked. The president can't be everywhere. Even Donald Trump can't be everywhere. So you've got to be a person he can trust, he can rely on to actually advance the agenda. That last clip coming from Vance just last night. Now, in terms of the main issues, Vance is against abortion and aid to Ukraine, like many hardline Republicans. But on other foreign policy issues like Israel aid, he's expressed support. The young Ohio senator says he brings loyalty to the ticket, which can be seen as a jab at former Vice President Mike Pence, who certified the 2020 election results, going against former President Trump's pressure to overturn them. And the Biden campaign has already criticized Vance, saying Trump picked him because he'd do what Pence wouldn't.